All right, y'all, quick video here with the FXR. Garage is a mess, don't mind that. I'm trying to figure out something with the tail light. Um, I've got this older style. It's uh, basically, they call it the 1998 and earlier um, tail light. It's uh, not the same as anything 99 and newer. 99 and newer would use this style tail light. They look the same, they mount up the same, but the, uh, the wiring is different. So on the uh, 98 and earlier, it's something like this. And then that goes into the back of uh, this plate right here, that base plate. And uh, I had a problem like the, the little wire, one of those leads pulled out of the, uh, the little thing it was in. So I had to, uh, I don't know where the piece is, but you basically get a wrench on the back of this thing and it, it's threaded in there. You just take that piece off. This is just mounted on the back of the fender by these two little uh, nuts, if you can call them that, with a uh, 716. But I uh, got that off and basically what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to put this earlier 99 and newer tail light on a uh, 98 and later um, fender. They make kits where you can cut this whole piece out right here and blah, blah, blah. And I actually, Custom Dynamics makes a better base plate than this one. It's actually made for converting or updating it. So there's several solutions out there. I'm gonna try to do this one for one because I have it, it's free. This one actually looks thinner than the one Custom Dynamics makes. Theirs looks pretty thick. And uh, that one, it's, you know, again, it's, this one's free. So basically what I have to do though, to clearance this, it doesn't fit up evenly. There's a little gap in there. So I'm gonna have to uh, shave off with the Dremel, just this little top piece right there and it should fit in. So I'll get to working on that. But first I gotta deep in this. This basically comes plug and play. So if you got 99 and newer, this is plug and play, which is awesome. But for me, I gotta deep in this. So I'm gonna get started with that. All right, I hacked this thing up about as ugly as you possibly can with the Dremel. You gotta take the top off right there and then a little bit off of each side. And then now it fits uh, up just perfectly. There's no gap and there's no pressure on the light or anything crazy. See? Perfect little seam. Put the gasket in there, but see, you gotta go take the sides off so they're not puncturing the uh, circuit board or whatever that is in the light. So, yep, just enough clearance there. So I will, uh, I got this thing deep in, figured out which wires are which by, you know, by touching them together. So I'm gonna get these uh, soldered up and I'll get everything on, show you in just a second. Oh, and real quick, remember to toss in your old gaskets. The new one that comes with the light won't fit. So you gotta put the old one back in. It's the old one on the back in the back actually and in the front so yeah don't forget your gaskets before you start wiring it up all right guys well i got the light all buttoned up basically what happened was i had uh lost the bolts that went into this backing plate thing uh because the other tail light fell off um so lots of the bolts need to get some replacement bolts i was trying to figure out what size they were i read on the line on a form that they're like i don't even know how to say it like 8-32 um and they're one inch long. I got those and man, they didn't really fit in here. They're too big. And then the six dash, whatever, the size down were too small. So I just got this tap here. And uh, punched it out to the right size for those bolts that I bought. And uh, just very carefully and then this is the, the quarter inch, but the, the one inch bolts fit perfectly. And uh, yeah, it worked great. So now I've got this, this light all buttoned up with the old uh, base plate. On top of that, I got the, uh, this, this thing's nice because it comes with a, uh, it's all wrapped up and stuff in the sheath. Well, that big hole that I whacked out to make this all work. I got this fender washer. Uh, you just get it from Ace. Nice slid. I had to depin the uh, the turn signals, which I'm not going to be using right now, anyways. I had to depin those turn signals, and then I pulled it all through this fender washer, and then I'll put that in between everything. So it should help keep it pretty waterproof. So I'll get that on the bike now, and finally get it wired up.
All right, y'all check it out. So the way I wired it up is uh, I got this connector. These wires are a little too thick. You probably want to use a thinner one. I'll put, try to put a link in the description to a connector like this so you can get them on Amazon all day. But it's the connector that connects to the uh, wiring coming out underneath the fender. And uh, the black wire just connected that to a little uh, ring terminal. So I'll put it on the back of these studs right there. I'm gonna tighten them up with, uh, with those nuts. So yeah, it's all buttoned up. Got the fender washer in there, hoping that keeps some of the water out. But I'll get it buttoned up and show you. The turn signals, I'm not using those right now. I got the turn signals that are um, on the end of my struts. So not wiring up the turn signals right now. One thing you wanna do though, is if you're gonna keep those wires, make sure you tuck them at the bottom of the light, not the top, because if you tuck them at the top, you'll be able to see it when that license plate light is on. Just a little tip right there. But yeah, I'll get it buttoned up and show you guys what it looks like. All right, it's all wired up and ready to go. I did not do the turn signals, which would be, of course, on the sides right here. Uh, reason being is to really do it right, you need to take the fender off and um, redo a lot of the wiring. So I really just wanted to tap into those two uh, for the uh, brake light. And uh, that's what I did. Maybe one day I'll go back and do the turn signal, but uh, for right now I'm just happy with the uh, the brake light. Looks way better than before. Way better. I'll show you what that guys. Show you guys what that looks like here in a second. All right, y'all. Everything's all wired up, so I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like on. And then with the brake. And that's it, fellas. I'm going to show you the wiring now. Oh, it's got the little light right there up top for the uh, license plate. But yeah, you can go ahead and turn it off. Yeah, see, so I like this one's got a, seems like a lower profile right here. Use that same original base plate. And uh, the wiring, not sure if you guys can see it up in there. Not really. But I got it tucked up underneath the uh, the tab right there. Yeah, there you can see. There's a little tab there, so the ground is right there on that nut. And then everything, the wiring's too long, but I have it tucked up underneath there, so hopefully that holds. But uh, that is all, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will uh, catch you in the next one.